So now, yes, we come into the next part of the story. That is photo system 2. <laughs> wow. Photo system 2 is now into the picture. A new photo system. Yes, this led to the discovery that there are two photo systems, not one. Fine. Let's find out what is the role of the other photo system. It is also starting with the same process, same process. I told you the concept is one concept that you have to understand. If you understand, rest is like, it's like the flowing river. You'll understand it. Easy. Same. One photon, come on. The energy will be, and now this is P680 now. I'm talking about photosystem 2, not 1. Photosystem 2. One photon, the same thing will happen. The energy will be passed on to the reaction center. It gets excited. And then the electron will be transferred to PHEO. That is pheophytine. It's pheophytine. Note it down. Pheophytine, right? Okay. Again, this will again happen based on the redox potential. Fuophytin will be at a higher redox potential, higher affinity for the electron, right? So, of course, it will be transferred to fuophytin. Great. Well, very good. Now, what will happen? Yes, the transfer has happened. Now, this from fuophytin, the electron will be transferred to plastoquinone, abbreviated as PQ, plastoquinone. But the question here is, Plastoquinone carries, this is the property of plastoquinone. It carries two electrons, please note this, and two protons. Again, a confusion. If it is just having one, then the reaction catalyzed by this, or the whatever the process is performed by uh, PQ, right? The plastoquinone will not happen because it requires two electrons and two protons. How will it happen? So we require one more electron. How will this come? Same concept, same concept. We would require what? We would require two photons, right? The same thing is going to happen again, once again. The second P680 will take part. Yes, the second electron will be formed, will be excited. The second P680 will be excited and they will release the electron and it will be passing to pheophytin, PHEO. So we have two pheophytin. They have the two electrons and now it's okay, right? It will, PQ, PQ, plastoquinone will get the two electrons. But what about the two protons? It requires two protons also, right? Where will it get the two H plus ions? Logical question. Well, honestly, there's a lot of H plus ions in the stroma. In the stroma, there's a lot of H plus ions. So, of course, it will take up the H plus ions from the stroma. What is happening? See, it is taking the two electrons, two protons. Are you observing? Once more, I'll show it to you, no problem. From pheophytin, it is, of course, PQ is at a higher redox potential. So, affinity is more, right? So, electron, two electrons, two protons. As I told you, PQ will require two electrons and two protons. Now, after doing this, after getting this, it becomes PQH2. PQH2. Correct? Fine. Now, again, this is a this is also a special one, and it can move. It moves across the membrane and goes to the next complex that is cytochrome B6F complex. Cytochrome B6F complex. Fine. Well, it's a complex. Now let's see what happens. This is present in the thylakoid membrane. Cytochrome B6F is present in the thylakoid membrane. Now what happens? Let's see. Plastoquinone to cytochrome B6F. Well, so, you know, B6F is basically a complex. It comprises of cytochrome B6 and cytochrome F. Cytochrome B6 and cytochrome F. Well, so cytochrome B6F complex is what we are talking about. Now what will happen? Of course, PQ will give away the two electrons it had, right? PQH2 to cytochrome B6F complex. And also, this is a very important part. Two protons will now be pumped into what? The lumen. Or rather, I would say two protons will be transferred to the lumen. So, can I say that because of the involvement, because please note this down because we are going to use it. Involvement of PQ is actually ensuring two protons to be moved from stroma to the lumen? Is it logical? It's because of PQ which is getting involved over here. Two protons will be moving to from stroma to the lumen. Logical? Can I now say a gradient is being formed? 
yes the h plus ions are moving here so a proton gradient or a proton difference concentration of the h plus ion difference will happen between the stroma and the lumen yes or no yes very good so now now what will happen so this is basically cytochrome b6f so the transfer actually happens from cytochrome b6 to cytochrome f and from here from here pc that is plus to cyanin will receive the electrons plus to cyanin will receive the electrons wow that's a nice factor so again it's it's going on it's going on right and all based on what the redox potential i told you one concept you have to understand redox potential if you have understood nothing the molecules are arranged just based on their affinity for electrons or based on their redox potential from the movement of the electrons will happen from low redox potential to high redox potential that's it nice it's so nice right just understand one concept and everything is like a movie right well so we are talking about two so just talk let's talk about one electron right now so plus to sign in pc plus to sign in okay you see you see what happens p700 is stabilized but but p680 is still unstable now what is happening let's see plus to sign in is now going and giving the electron to p700 p700 which was unstable after receiving the electron will now become stable nice done done right once more i want to come back and just show it to you once again pc was having one electron there are two electrons which has been passed by pq h2 correct correct yes so two electrons will be there so basically you are get the idea two pc will be involved over here that is plus two sign in two plus two sign ins will be involved over here the electrons will ultimately be transferred to p700 plus two sign in it's present in the lumen and it moves into the to, it moves from the cytochrome to ps1 to the lumen right and then pass on the electron to p700 and stabilize p700 so like it's now done p700 our main problem was p700 was unstable right now it is stabilized okay fine and we had two of them two of them we had two of them so both the p700 will be stabilized now p700 got stabilized but p680 is still unstable because it has lost the electron correct we were talking about 2p680 now 2p680 are unstable now what to happen what will happen i want my electron back is what ps2 is talking about ps2 now wants the electron back we have solved one problem ps1 p700 was has given up the electron we have to solve it we have solved it now we have to solve ps2 the question is so where does the compensating electron for p680 come from you remember water yes here comes the water here comes the water which plays a very very important role in replenishing this electron let me show you how here comes the water well so what we have to do is clear the objective we have to stabilize p680 photosystem 2 correct well now Let's see what happens. Splitting of water. Just splitting of water will happen. Now, what is this reaction? Let me show you. Splitting of water is H2O in the thylakoid membrane. It is split into 2H plus plus 2 electrons plus 0.5O2. Doesn't sound good. 0.5O2 because oxygen is always we refer to as O2. Now, chemistry, chemical equations have to be balanced. So we'll balance it. Simple. Just take two water molecules. You see what will happen? It will increase double. So totally, what will what we will get is two water molecule, four H plus, four ele electrons, and one oxygen. One oxygen molecule. Fine. Got it? So remember this equation, and this is the balanced equation. If you're using one H2O, then 0.5O2 will be formed. Okay. It's better to write 0.5. It's better. It's the best way to write as a balanced chemical equation. Use 2H2O and then 1O2 will be formed. Clear everyone? So basically we are talking about the splitting of water. Okay. Splitting of water. H2O will be broken down into what? 2H2O we are talking about, right? 2H2O. Got this? 4H plus is formed. Right? 1 oxygen molecule and 4 
what? Electrons. Four protons, four electrons, and we have one oxygen molecule, O2. Wow. Now, the interesting part is these electrons which are formed due to splitting of water will be utilized to stabilize P680. We were talking about two P680. We were talking about two P680 which were involved. We talked about two P700 which were involved, right? So, two electrons will go and stabilize that. Fine. Logical. Logical. So, you understand why water is essential? If there is no water, the plants cannot actually perform photosynthesis. Fine. Okay. Let's see. Let's move on. Well, don't forget this part. This pumping of H plus. Or rather movement of H plus from the stroma to lumen. This is going to be very important for you. Wait for it. Now, let's see what happens. So, uh, well, we are left with uh, two more electrons. So, two more electrons. So, basically, if I just talk about two more photons. Two more, that is total of four photons if they are taking part. That means then two more P680 will be taking part, right? And they can be, again, what? They can get replenished by these two electrons which were left behind. We are utilizing 2H2. So, it's about balancing the equations, fine? So, four is basically, if you just want to utilize everything, so four photons will we will consider. Then two more P680, that is total of 4 P680 will be excited by 4 photons. So, how many electrons will be produced? 4 electrons. Correct? 4 electrons will be produced. One minute. 4 electrons will be produced. And similarly, if you just extrapolate this equation, it will move on to here also. Fine? So, total here also 4, here also 4. Got it? Everyone clear? Right? Just balancing. I'm just balancing it. Now comes the important part. So, four electrons is passing through the photosystems. Now comes the interesting part. Right? Light reaction. Now, what we studied is because of this, because of this PQ, H plus concentration was becoming high in the lumen and H plus concentration was going, were reducing, was reducing in the stroma. So, definitely, very clearly, there's a gradient which is forming, right? In the stroma, is a lower H plus concentration in the lumen. It's a high H plus concentration gradient. Can I tell it as proton gradient? Yes, sir. Why can't? Why can't we? It's a proton gradient, right? Well, very good. Now let's see what happens. Now let's see what happens. So high H plus concentration in the lumen. Got this? Now let's see. If this is a proton gradient, uh, is it helpful in any way? Because it's increasing. It may happen that because if H plus is increasing, then the reaction would not be happening because, you know, this H plus is going down. Just think about the picture. H plus in the stroma is going down because PQ is utilizing it. Somehow, it has again, something should happen that the H plus get replenished over here. Yes or no? <laughs> Let's see. See how beautifully everything is controlled and designed in nature. 